going to look how to set up a Blogger account within your Google Apps account. So I'm going to go to my Google Drive, and as you can see, I'm already logged in, and I will click on the, uh, the Google Apps box here, and I will notice that here I don't see Blogger. So I need to go under Apps. These apps will link with your Google Apps sign-on, but are not core uh, Google Apps account, so you don't get the same amount of privacy uh, control, etc. You can always make a blogger more private, and uh, we're not going to talk about that today because we won't have time, but uh, that's an option if ever you don't want your students to be out there. So we'll click on blogger, and what it's going to do is sync it with my Google Apps uh, account. You'll notice I've already created it, and if you're doing this for the first time, it will probably ask you to sync this with your Google Plus profile. I'm going to recommend that you do that. One setting that I do encourage people to change is that uh, every time you post something, it doesn't immediately show up to your Google+. Plus. That's an option, and you should think about whether you want that to happen or not in your classroom. So if you're using Google+, Plus, every time your students post something, it will show up to the Google Plus stream. It can actually be very useful for discussion and encouraging students to read each other's comments, which is kind of the problem I've always had with blogs. You have to make students go out of their way to go check out other people's blogs, uh, which um, can sometimes be a little bit onerous. If they use Google Plus regularly, it kind of uh, makes that flow a lot more. So I'm going to create a new blog. <coughs> this is an old blog that I created, but um, I'll just call it my PET blog. And over here, this is the URL that people will be able to type to go to this blog. So select this very carefully, make this something easy to remember. And if you get a check mark, that means it's available. We're going to select a theme. Uh, let's go with, I can recommend one of these simpler theme, themes. The dynamic view is a little bit tricky at first if you're a beginner. So I would recommend one of the simpler picture window or simple or watermark. Okay, so I'm creating a blog. This should take a, a minute. All right, so the blog that I want to work on is this one. I want to bring your attention to uh, some of the uh, buttons that are available usually when you log into Blogger. This is write a post. Post is what is called a basically a blog entry. And um, if you look over here, uh, these are all the settings for your blogs. Since this is just an intro, we're not going to go too into depth about this, but you have the option of creating pages. You have the option of deciding how you want this to link up with your Google Plus account, which I talked about briefly at the, end, uh, at the beginning. You can change your template and you can change your settings. We're not going to go into the advanced features today. We're just going to basically create a post. I'm going to go over here and create a basic post. I want to you know, notice something about blogging that's very different than what you would be seeing in a uh, Google Doc format, if you're used to using Google Docs and uh, Google Apps, you have two uh, formats. You have the HTML, which is for advanced coding, and you have Compose. Uh, usually you want to be in the Compose window, and I will show you um, at some point uh, what you would use HTML for, uh, and it's very useful for students to be aware of this, because in today's uh, online uh, community and the way they work always with digital media, they need to uh, be aware of how to embed HTML. So let's just write something. I'll write, uh, hello world, I will talk about Google Plus today. And here, this is called WYSIWYG, so what you see is what you get. So in other words, when you type something, this is what you're going to see on uh, the blog post. Um, I often tell people who are new to blogging, one big change is that you get have to get used to the idea of hyperlinking stuff. When you're writing essays in that kind of more traditional writing format, you don't ever think about that. But when you're writing for the web, it's a very different kind of, uh, so I'll put a link here. And I'll just put uh, my website for now, fedtechvoice.com, and I'll click OK. So there's a link, and there it is. So maybe I want to add a video. One of the things that's uh, from YouTube, you can do a YouTube search, and I can look up Google Drive and do a search and see what comes up. 
So this will allow me to embed this. Screen. Right in, and you can obviously view it before, which I, one thing that you should be aware of when you're working with students, they'll often just pick anything and drop it in there. Uh, it's very critical that you make sure you have them look at what they're, they're doing and, you know, have them select something that uh, is relevant. I just click Control X or so cut and I will repaste it down here because what you see is what you get. So when I post this, this is what they're going to see on the other side. And um, the other thing that we could do is go get an image um, from your Picasso, from this blog, from your URL, um, there's, or from the computer. Um, usually if you go get a, um, let's do a, a Google image search here. I'll just open up Google image, right? I'll just type in, um, I'll type in Google Drive. I'm in Google Chrome, obviously, so this is a search bar. And as you can see over here, I click image. And let's assume I want a um, full-size image here. I click here. And there we go. Show me. Okay, oops. Back in 20K. So I'm just going to go copy image URL. Go back to my blogger and click here and from URL I'll paste it there control V and select it and there it is now obviously this doesn't look very good and um, if you notice when I click on an image I have the option to add a caption so I'll do that and I wanted to say Google Drive all right and this might look a little better could place it um, around. I won't play around with the formatting really. So you have the option to do a bunch of stuff like change your uh, your, your size and your font. Uh, probably change the font to uh, a few of the ones that are available here. Uh, highlight, uh, change the color of the text, and uh, linking. I think this is uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much.